Hi everybody, it's Rachel from Sage here. I've got all my palettes here in front of me <laughs> and I'm going to try and work out which shade I could hit pan on. These are some of my BH palettes. Uh, this is the Blueberry Muffin palette. I am going to go with the shade Stud Muffin, the one down in the bottom corner there. It is entirely unique colour in my collection. So that will be my number one target and possibly tempting and yummy as well. So I'll insert a photo with those uh, shades highlighted and we can see as the year goes on, 2024 goes on, how I do. Okay, so the next palette is the Lost in Los Angeles palette. I'm going to target the shade Melrose for hitting pan in that palette. And possibly the white, which is called the Abbey, because I don't have a whole lot of matte whites in my collection. So definitely Melrose, possibly the Abbey. So the next one is the Avocado Toast palette. Um, I'm going to target Over Easy in this palette because it is a very wearable and unique shade in my collection. And I'm not sure about another shade. Maybe, maybe green juice. Maybe. Okay. The Hanging in Hawaii palette. This one's a bit harder because they're, you know, they look, <laughs> the shades look quite similar, don't they? So I will try and target pineapple in this palette and maybe luau, but definitely pineapple. Okay, the browns, you know, there's so many of them there. They're just different tones, different depths. So, yeah. So what did I say? I said pineapple and luau, both shimmer shades. Here's my much-loved Smitten in Switzerland palette. I've already hit good pan on Lausanne, as you can see. So I'm going to go with Alpine, which is that one in the top corner and Alphorn, which is that light brown next to Lisanne in the top row. So I could probably hit pan on a number of shades in this palette this year. Uh, so they're the ones I will target, but if I do do better than that, then I will definitely let you know. It is a sensational palette, that one. One that I know I won't succeed with is my Orange Sorbet palette. These pans are massive, and even though I've used it a lot, I still haven't even got rid of the embossing. <laughs> the shades I use most are Yum and Citron in here, but I, I don't see myself hitting pans. So I'm going to eliminate that one from my project as much as I love it. Now you can see I've hit good pan already on Not So Nice, which is a, that top row there. And another shade that I think I'm close on is Bubbly, also in the top row, which is a satin matte, I would describe it. But I'm actually going to target the shades uh, Bougie, that one there. Apologise for the mess. And whatever that is, Gua Drop, is that what that says? Gum Drop, oh goodness me, Gum Drop, which is a beautiful uh, coral, has a coral shift to it. And I really love that one, it's quite unique. And that one is very pretty as well. So I think I can probably make Pan in Bubbly, Gum Drop and Bougie. And we'll see how I'm going with some of the others because... There's quite a few shades there that I think I'm close to hitting pan on as well. Filling in Chicago. This is an older BH palette. The shade I'm going to target here is... Which one was it? Chicago Dog. 
which is that rosy tone. It looks really purple, doesn't it? It's actually more rosy tone in real life. Chicago Dog, which is a matte. And I might even have a go at the L. They go together very well, those two shades. This is a beautiful palette, isn't it? Why don't I wear it more? I need to wear it more. This will encourage me to do it. The Passion in Paris palette. I'm going to target Arc de Triomphe, that one there. And I reckon I could also hit Pan in Eiffel Tower, but definitely Arc de Triomphe, which is has is a duochrome. It's absolutely amazing. Champs Elysees looks pretty good too, but I think we'll go with Arc de Triomphe and Eiffel Tower. My one and only Odin's Eye palette, which was gifted to me by Samantha Izundu. I've got decent use out of this. The last shade, this one here, and I don't know what it is. It's called Precious, I think. Yeah, the camera's picking it up. It's a, it's a satin matte with a gold shift to it. I reckon I could possibly hit pan on that. I use it as an eyeliner quite a bit. So that will be the target for that palette. The Made by Mitchell Feet on the Ground palette. These are very large pans. I just don't know if I'm going to hit pan on anything in here. Um... Potentially Angelina. These are the, what's the brand? Go To Beauty. This one's the Fogo. You can see I already hit pan in that palette. I think I'll just continue to widen that pan. That will be the object for that palette see with these neutral palettes it's really hard because you know there's so many repeat shades really this one is the mocha and it's beautiful but the pans are enormous will i hit pan in anything in here maybe this one all right i will focus on that one these shadows are not named so i can't really give a better description of other than that one there so opening up the pan there and hitting pan in that more cool tone neutral just there. Yeah, I've got to have some mattes, haven't I? I can't have all shimmers. Okay. This is my fairly new to my collection, even though it doesn't look it, my Mora Sweetest Thing palette. I'm quite certain I can hit pan on fresh. It is one of my favourite topper shades in my whole collection. Um, I use it a lot. So I will nominate Fresh as my target shade in that palette. I might even hit Pan in first, but um, this one most definitely. Over here is the ABH Subculture palette. I think I can hit Pan in Dawn. It's fairly similar to the other palette though, isn't it? Hmm. All right, let's go with electric. I'm fairly certain I can hit pan in electric. I'm fairly certain I can also hit pan in cube and possibly even adorn and fudge. So if I can do four in the one palette this year, that would be really great. All right, I'm going to target those four shades in this palette. This is one of my oldest palettes so it's probably time as you can see I've hardly used I don't know why I don't use that I use that one that's really nice I'm going to use that a bit more this one I hardly use this one I never use because I don't wear grays and um, yeah just eyeliner really for these two so that's why there's very few dips in there but what are we doing we're doing electric cube adorn and fudge but focusing on electric okay 
Here are my BH Travel Series, no, sorry, Gemstone Birthstone Series palettes. I have all of them. And I'm not likely to hit pan on many, if any. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to target six out of the 12. So these are my most worn palettes in this collection. The Peri Dirt, which is August. I'm going to target Enthusiastic and the Press Glitter Spirited. Quite unique, that one. I'm also going to target, because I've got two red ones, so I thought I'd better choose a red. I will target the Press Glitter in that one, Drama Queen. And that is Ruby for July. This one is the Citrine. I absolutely love this colour story. And I wear this one quite a lot. And I think I can hit pan in the Press Glitter, which is called Brilliant. And possibly even that reddish brown shimmer, Dynamic. So Press Glitter and Dynamic in the Citrine for November. Emerald for May. I'm going to go with Artsy AF as my target shade. In the Turquoise for December, I'm going to target the Press Glitter Wild Thing. And in the Pearl for June, I wear this one quite a bit too, as you can see. I'm going to target Bossy. And, oh, am I ever going to hit pan on those highlighter shades? I'm going to go with Silly. Silly and Bossy in that palette. My beloved Anoxa Nude Eyeshadow Palette. Obviously got a big pan here already. I'm going to target that shade there for panning. And I reckon I could maybe even finish that one next year. Let's see how I go. Okay, so the least used of my Natasha Denona palettes is the Love palette. It's very theme heavy, of course. I just don't know if I'm going to hit pan in any of these. Hmm. I'll try for pure love. I will try for that one. Okay, let's see. I know I'm really close to hitting pan in mindful, so that's an easy pick. So I should really pick another one in this palette, shouldn't I, for that reason. I might go with Flow. That's not a colour I've chosen elsewhere, is it? Okay, so Mindful, I'm almost hitting pan there. In fact, I think I can see a tiny hole there. And Flow in the Zendo palette. Sorry, I didn't say that, did I? Oh, it's such a good palette, isn't it? Yes. All right. So an easy pick in this palette is the transition shade up here. So I will pick that one. And a shimmer shade in here that I think I can hit pan on is probably... Oh, that one. Yeah, the outer eyelid shade. It's really more of a satin matte than a shimmer, actually. I'll see if I can manage any more with this palette because I do use it a hell of a lot.
but definitely transition and definitely outer eyelid brown from the superb Natasha Denona Glam. This is the Natasha Denona My Dream palette. Absolutely love it. Definitely picking Vision. I wear that a lot. <laughs> it's a dual chrome. It's absolutely amazing. And is there a matte in here that I might have a chance of using up? Or hitting pan on, I should say. I think I'll go with Familiar. I use that one quite a bit too. Okay, so Vision and Familiar from the My Dream palette. Seriously, how much have I used this palette already? Wow. <laughs> I know I can hit pan on Fushi. I love that colour. I wear it a heck of a lot. What about a shimmer in here? Hmm. It's either between Makia, that black base. I love it. I love it. Or Plantasia. I haven't chosen anything like that one. So I'm going to go with Fushi and Makia, Makia from the extraordinarily good Yucca palette. This is so new to my collection, but as you can see, I'm already using it a lot. And there's quite a few dips in a number of pans. This Mia Topper Shade is, gosh, I absolutely love it. And I use Vague a lot as well. So I'm going to target... No, I've already got a shade like that, haven't I? Vague, which is a matte, and Mia, which is that glass formula, her, one of her new formulas, absolutely beautiful, and adjusts, shifts in colour to whatever base is underneath. So it's really amazing. And that, of course, is the I Need a Nude palette. So there's 24 palettes in my project pan for 2024. So that is an average of two pans per month. <laughs> and given that some palettes I've decided to try and target more than one shade, even though I said I was going to target one shade, that's a lot. So... We'll see how I'm going. If I need to scale back my expectations at some point, I will do so. But I'm going to insert the photos as well with the target shades and I'll colour code them. Green will be for the ones that are the number one priority and I will use a pink for those shades that are lesser priority. So we can see, we can compare as time goes on how much I have used them. Okay, let's begin 1st of January and see how I go. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to exclude these three from the project too because these are brand new. And anything else that arrives that I've ordered this month, that is December, I will not be putting in the project pan.